If you're an application security manager or a head of product security, then you're probably thinking about implementing SAST for your application, which is basically to do static analysis against your application code. Here are the things that you need to watch out for while either selecting or running SAS tools. First of all, think about which language your product is in. Not all SAS tools work equally well across all languages. There are certain tools that work really well for C, certain tools that work well for Java or Python or Rust or whatever it is. Especially if you're using newer languages like Rust, you need to really check the vendor's tools or the vendor's rules for the kind of rule sets that they have. The second thing that you need to do is ensure that your SAS scanners support incremental scanning. So in incremental scanning, the idea here is that you want to ensure that your scanner is able to scan only source code in a pull request or something like that, something small. You don't necessarily have to scan the entire code base every single time. You should be able to support incremental scans through scanning partial code bases and so on. And the third thing that you need to look out for is that you should be able to customize your static analysis rules. Static analysis rules, if you cannot customize, you always get poor quality results because you're generally looking for very generic things. If you are able to customize your static analysis tools, you can really triangulate your results to what you need from the tool and not what the tool by default just gives you.